Hello, this is Pete. This tutorial, we're going to be going through Advanced Custom Fields Maps. I'm going to call this Maps 1.0. So, what's what we have? You have a, a real estate or something, you have a map, and you want to show a pin on the map for the location of that post. Now, this uh, Maps 1.0 only works on the single pages. So, for example, I have this map over here with this pin. I can't show multiple pins on a map. I can't search for the map. I can't. So it, it's not it's not used for when you're searching. It's used just to display on the single page. This is 1.0 map 1.0. Devin Machine 2.0. So it might get a bit confusing. I'm just using map 1.0 because the next version of maps I'm gonna we, we're going to be creating our own maps module where it can be searchable and stuff like that. So how this works is in the theme builder if you go and you add the Divi map module okay so you basically just um, yeah so it, it works on the Divi map module first thing you need to do is go and create your custom field field type needs to be called Google map okay so you create your custom field the next thing you're going to do is to make sure that you have your the Google Maps API key added in the Divi theme options now looking at the advanced custom fields documentation there's a couple of things you need to make sure you need to make sure it has the Maps JavaScript APR, the Geocoding APR, and the Places APR. So make sure you have all these three APRs added to your key. Okay, then you also need to make sure you add it into Divi theme options. Now once you've added in your key into Divi theme options, and you've created your map advanced custom field item, the next thing you need to do is to go over to Divi Engine Machine Settings, Map Module Overrides, okay? Then select your map custom field and select your post type. So, when you add a map module to your single page using the theme build or whatever, we will dynamically change the pin on the map based on this advanced custom field item and this post type. So in the theme builder, all I've done is I've added the map module. I've added a pin. Don't don't worry about this pin. Just add a pin and save it. Now you see nothing's showing up because the you know it's irrelevant. The pin there is no address on the pin, but I've just added one. However, when you view the car, it then shows the pin on the map based on the 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 setting over here so in the map uh, I've added in the postcode and you can see there it is over there and there it shows in the map if I change this one over here to be something else I don't know I don't even know if that's even a postcode okay so let's do that one and then you'll see now in the car it will then change on the map Okay, does that make sense? So, just to break it down, one, you know, add your Google API key, two, add your advanced custom field item, three, go to our settings and select the override, four, add the map module to the theme layout, and uh, five, add, you know, your, in your advanced custom field, add your address, and six, enjoy. Look at the map on the page. So that's how it works. So we, we, we're basically overriding the Divi map module. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, we will bring out our own video, uh, our own map module soon. When I say soon, I'm not too sure how long it's going to take, where we will, we will give you the ability to search and filter based on the map. This is, will be, will be our map 2.0 version. Okay. So I hope this has been helpful. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.